it will make sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here. As menacing as this place might look. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves. Like a wild animal against an unknown threat. Mm -hmm. That's how they perceived the expedition. Like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Hey, friend. They seem to recognize me. Good. As if I was one of their own. They? What do you mean, they? Was there more than one? Oh, a jellyfish. Everything hmm. seems so distant now. As if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. Did you, though? <gasps> a full moon? It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time, or...? See? Lotus effect. Maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. It's hard to believe everything is real. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna Maybe say that. Isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Inglewood and... Everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to f shake off this strange feeling that I have now. Feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood, or Boston, or Newburyport. I mean... <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? There it is. The sanctuary. Hi everybody, my name is Aztec Alien and welcome back to what I believe is the very last chapter of Call of the Sea. I'm a little bit sad about that. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit intrigued, but I also feel like bad things are afoot. So we just kind of trekked through, saw the cool things, giant squid. <laughs> I, I kind of don't want to get out. So going through and playing this again in the very, very distance here. Um, I don't believe I saw this in the, the first time I watched this, but there were something, there were things swimming in the background. I might put that in here so you guys can see what I looked looked at, because I don't think you saw it in the first actual cutscene that I'm gonna use, the, the original one. So we'll see what that looks like. But um, I don't remember seeing it the first time. Was this where you met Harry? Was this your last stop? Oh yeah, the tents. Of course, it's the last stop. I think there's some tents over here too. This is nifty. This is scary, but this is also very nifty. What are these? What do you mean? Okay, there's a picture. Oh, there's this too. She doesn't say anything. Cass, I think I have the answer. You have to go back home and bring Nora here. Leave now, please. Oh. So I... I have to put my hand inside? He is yelling. It's not working. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Those are huge forks. Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Yeah, he's got a gun and everything. Oh my, she sounds completely out of her mind. I've seen the future. Eternity awaits me. Death awaits Harry. Oh, Jesus, that is scary. A camera. Oh. It must be Cassandra's. Weird. Ah. Okay, maybe I have to... <laughs> there we go. I'm like, the camera is broken. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anything around here? Anything on the ground? 
No. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, we have to put our hand inside. Okay, I don't know what this is gonna do. That might trigger something that may make us not be able to look at the other stuff. So let me go over here and look at this tent stuff and then we'll come back. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Looks like a fallen statue. God, could you imagine just running up to this thing in, in like real life, just seeing this here and just being like up close to it like this? This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger. Ooh, is that part of the, that one piece that was scribbled out? It looked like a hook or something. Okay, so it's sealed off. Oh. Oh my goodness. And the gun barrel is empty. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't even see the blood. Trail of blood. Someone was hurt. Oh, God. A woman's earring stained with blood. My God, Harry, what did you do to her? Okay, I was not thinking... If he's behind that door. I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? For real. No? Okay. I was not expecting to find an earring. I was thinking that maybe... Like, she shot him or something. There's that? a bullet hole in here. Oh. Interesting. What is this? Oh, is this sand? Oh, I thought it was rock. I'm like, what? There's a bullet casing. There's a bullet hole in here. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we'll look at that arch in a second. What is this? Looks like a cabinet. Oh, it's not a cabinet. Not a cabinet. Oh, okay. I can't look at any Another of these. camp. Ooh. Well, there was little more than a few things scattered about. Okay, we'll listen to that note in a second. Oh, yeah. See, there's a dagger. This dagger looks exactly like the one I have. You have it on you? Wait, I'm so sorry. When did we get a dagger? Was it in the very beginning? I don't remember a dagger, I'm gonna be honest, guys. An altar, dried blood and ooze. Isn't that the dagger Frank was attacked with? Oh, wait. Did we pick up a dagger? Blood. It was the blood of yeah, these cause... creatures. Some sort of catalyst. Oh, I wonder if it wasn't even like Harry or Cass that was shot. I wonder if they shot a creature. I had a, a library? Dream. What are you talking about, Harry? I had a strange dream today. I was inside a vast library and gazed at vistas of another world. Is it... Nocatus? Harry, what is this? It looks like the ramblings of a madman. Nora must do it. Together, changing? That does sound like the ramblings of a madman. Okay, let's listen to this. My dear old pal, I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you, but she's just mad, obsessed with this place. Ooh. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us. Isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to... Damn it. I, th I have to think it over. I can't. I, uh, to tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow. Damn it. Stop writing. Hmm. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the Black Ooze does? What it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? A little bit. I mean, if this place wasn't meant for people people to be here then oh interesting like if it was meant to be for amphibian like people if it was supposed to be here for whoa 
<laughs> I would have just broken my foot there. Black ooze on a Petri dish. Yeek. My god. This syringe has traces of black... Oop. Sorry, Nora. My god. This syringe has traces of black ooze. What the hell were you thinking? Nothing good. Oh, whoops. Oh, Nora, honey. No, oh, I really hope this works. Why did they cut the middle of their wrist? That would be like the worst place. Deep cut. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, then. That just seems like a bad place. <laughs> These patterns look too familiar. Yes, with the knife. Apparently, we had this entire time that I do not remember. I should have done this first. Let's give it a try. Yes, with the one that's preferably not injured already. Ouch! I. Oh, oh ouch. shit. <laughs> what was oh. that? Oh. Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. Bizarre. Ooh, intriguing. Have been rearranged to form some sort of symbol. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. Harry scribbled these symbols on the wall. They must be important. That must be for what we got in there. Okay. Little devices. Yes. Oh, these puzzles sucked. But we're not going to talk about it. Talk to me, Nora. Nothing? Nothing at all. All right. Hmm. An eye and a star. Look at the stars, maybe. Oh. The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not mm. the Earth sky, where am I now? Earth sky? Isn't that an actual thing? It sounds cool, though. Hmm. Yeah, this is scary. It's a pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? No idea. That's why we're here. <coughs> Those stone statues seem to rotate with this switch. Hmm. Interesting. Um, some sort of creature, a pet, how? 90 degree rotation. A hedgehog. Dude, this game is so cool. Oh, I almost walked away. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Oh, a gargoyle? Bridges, dragons, gargoyles, animals! <laughs> okay. All these papers are riddled with incoherent doodles. Yeah, goodness. Okay, let's go take a look at these little constellations. Hello. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Mm, good question, Nora. I cannot answer you, as I don't know, and I feel my brain is gonna hurt after this. Constellations and stars. Mm. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. I thought we knew that. Oh god. Did we not know that already? Where is this door leading me? Who knows? Because I don't. A shining constellation. I better draw it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. There's some stuff up here too, so let's go look at that. There's another one that's kind of on the outside where we looked at before, but I don't know how to get to it. Oh, that's not dangerous. They carried these people here to test them. Like a challenge of some sort. Hmm. Hmm. What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Oh. Not the stairs. Okay, well let's see what we can do. These are the statue things, right? 
Or are these just broken pieces? I don't know. So look at the stars. I'm looking. Hmm. What is this? Uh oh. Am I supposed to make this symbol over here? It looks like somebody doing one hell of a backbend and putting their hands up in the air and going, Yeah! <laughs> Not what I was expecting! See, the amounts of times I would have just ended my own life in this game <laughs> accidentally is enough to prove that I probably shouldn't be playing it. So can I do anything with you guys? Oh, I can't. Haha. <laughs> that makes sense. Circular stones with strange carved symbols. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the one I have. The icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have in my hand. Schnifty? Okay. Do I have to do that for all of them? Let's try it and see what happens. It probably won't work, but we'll test it and say it does or not. Interesting that they don't just topple over because they're not being held by much. You think that that would just give way unless this is deep enough. Nothing! I knew it! Okay. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay. I guess I made this one? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's not the one I was trying to make, so now I do know that that's what you're supposed to do. I was trying to make the small one. This one was completely accidental. Whoops. Oh. Dude. They took them to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. Scary. These poor people. Ugh. 
What an odd structure. Riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Very tiring. These people were also more fit than I was. Or am, I should say. All right. Maybe it only hurts the first time. Nope. Ah! The second also hurts. Yep, see? Told you. Is that it? When I arrived on this island, I felt like oh. I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. Oh, the cheek of it. All right, well, I guess let's try and make another one and see how that goes. Um... We're getting somewhere. We're, we're figuring things out. This is great. Oh, my voice crack. It's fine. What? Why? I think I can feel the agony of the slaves. Their suffering. And the effects of their transformation. It's horrifying. Black and white figures. Mm. Oh. oh, hey, there's the animal thingies. Uh, but why? What moved? Oh, the one over there. Okay. Um, there's another one on that side. Oh. <laughs> cool. Huh? What am I supposed to be doing with this? Why? No, not. Oh, that's not the one I thought was gonna move. This is the one I thought was gonna move. So I wonder if I have to connect them. Never mind. I don't know what I was gonna do. Good doggies, or dragons, whatever you are. I shouldn't be staring them in the face, should I? Oh, okay. Grand dragons, doggies, <laughs> whatever you are. <laughs> oh, the dog's direction. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the dog's direction is what... Okay, I thought it was some weird puzzle that I had to do to make them, like, match each other or something to get the pyres to light up or one another. You know what I mean? Ha! That's cool. Okay, let me see what's over here. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> Thank you. You have full... full possibilities of doing that. <laughs> 
Kai. Kai Kai. Okay, so if I move those over for the dogs to move me over here, I need to move those sideways. Which ones are you? Okay, so it's you that's sideways. I need to move that one. Um, I need you. Um, all right. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting to do. I think I have to do it this way. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see what that does. Yeesh. Eek. Okay, let's go change the black ones and move them around. Hey, doggos. Please don't murder me, please. Okay, so you guys need to move that away. The friend over there needs to move quite a bit. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I think we're we're good. This is nifty. I am afraid that fire is gonna come out of these. Or I'm gonna plummet to my death. That too. Is there a reason for me to go over there? Oi! <laughs> Woo! I just got like the worst chill. Don't do that. Don't look down there, everybody. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Blech. Oh. oh, it goes outside. Hello. Oh, it's you again. Hi. Oh, come on. One more time. It's not the only time. Ouch. Ow, that and, hurt. Again. And watch. <laughs> again, the very, very last one doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> That's the way it would go. Do I need to go over to the other side? Is there something over there that I need? I might just check it out before I leave anyway. But, I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything over there of value. But what if there is, like, a picture or something? You know? Oh, there was a picture. <laughs> oh, see? That's the creature I saw in my dreams. He's holding on to a gigantic black stone monolith. Mm. He is Father Dagon. Dagon? Oh, candid photo. Okay, well, glad we did that. Okie dokie. So let's go back and try our hand again at the constellations. That looks creepy. Oh, okay. This place is like a labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, this is the one. <gasps> oh, I thought something was standing in front of me. That scared me. It was submerged in black icor. Hmm. Creepy indeed. Oh. Interesting. Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Hmm. Interesting. Again? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Girl, you know. You shouldn't be surprised. You have one more. Ah. 
Okay. We can do the opposite one now. Yay! Oh, stairs. Where are you? <laughs> mm, found you. Constellation I need to open the throne room. Probably all of them. Mm, good point. I mean, there's the one in the middle. There's this one. I don't think that means anything, though. I think it's just another to show one you. of those gates. I have to get into the water again. The pattern. I can feel the torment <gasps> of the thousands of slaves who perished here. I think that means I got all the murals, which was terrifying. Okay, so I can't go that one. All right, oh, this looks spooky. I don't like this at all. Ew, it's dark and loud. Okay, I don't think there's anything over there. Okay. I wonder how long it's been since a human amphibian has been here. I thought there was two of these gates. I'm like, what? Why? Oh, it's because of you! Oh, come on. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. I was hoping she'd be like, all in a day's work. That's not what she said. Oh, thank you. Light little swimming. Okay. Okay, what did I write? Okay, there's that. Oh, weirdly glitchy here. Okie dokie. I'm gonna pause it here for now. Um, I'm gonna go eat something and I shall return. Alrighty, so I have eaten a little bit. We are gonna continue on where we left off, which is trying to figure what the last constellation is. Oh, game. Oh. The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. Are we supposed to make that one? Are and we? if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? Good question, Nora. Um, I don't think that's what we're supposed to make. Because that looks like everything. Oh, fishes. I love how she just has time to draw, like, full detail fishes. Like, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Using the strange device that projected the patterns on the floor, I was able to open the doors that led to more rooms. Inside these rooms, I found more circular stones and more patterns. Now I only need to open that large door. Okay, is there any indication in here as to what I need to do besides this one?
two. But then how do I make the other one? Because they don't connect. Oh! The door to the sanctuary is open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. I am so confused. Uh, we just don't ask questions, I guess. Boy, I'm so confused. I See, again, to my death, I could have died a fourth time. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Goffin? One second, I'll be with you in just a little bit. Is there nothing over here? Oh my god, what does that mean? I did something I don't think I should have, but that's okay. Click! What a disturbing mirror. Is it made of black icon? Mm-hmm. I I feel like it is speaking to me. Oh, that was like a Peter oh, Pan moment. Heavens. Okay. There's something written in the floor with oh. blood. Fall. Haven't I heard that word in, in my dreams? Have you? Maybe. I don't remember you hearing that in your dreams, but I don't remember what I did two seconds ago. Okay, well I guess we'll go down here. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Amazing adventures of... Nora Everhart. Oh, that's nifty. I wish I could see it. Nothing that happens here appears to respect the most basic rules of physics. Mm -hmm. We've deduced this. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Oh, Henry, are you down here? Please say you're alive. Like the workings of a clock. Or a music box. I don't know if Az can handle your death, my dear. Ooh. Uh, Henry, is that you? Oh, sweet Jesus. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tell me this is you, Harry. It can't be you. It can't oh, be. Oh, no. Go, Nora! Trudge faster! Oh, Swim no, like amphibian! No. Why did you do it? Oh my god, Harry, no! Sweet. In the end, you performed the ritual. You, you poor fool. But why? I don't understand it. Why? You knew it. You knew it wasn't going to work. Is that him, though? Or is that Cass? Oh, no, that's him. You knew the ritual wasn't going to work. That's... Oh! That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? Can someone explain? All right, Fulgoffin, I need you to go away. Can someone explain this to me? Because what the hell did I just witness? What the hell? What? Did he die on the expedition or something and we decided to pack up our stuff and move? Like, what? what is happening? I'm so confused and I'm a little salty about it. I'm pretty salty, bruh. What really happened? Oh. Okay, saltiness has left me. The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, 
It had to be her. Oh, was she greedy? This is how every Indiana Jones movie goes, right? Look at her face. Hmm. The picture frame was sinking. I just wanted to make sure that I was actually seeing that or not. I can't she go any used faster. The dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual. You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Mm. Does that mean he's still alive somewhere? Because Cassandra was ambitious and would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. Cat is just bringing their toy to me. <laughs> That's so cute. I had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. Hmm. You're greedy. The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. Oh, damn. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. Wasn't that what, like, I thought about and. Like, uh, mm, I can't even talk. I'm so sorry. That's what I was kind of thinking in the past episode is that the reason her mother died is because she didn't get here in time to do the ritual. What? Oh, is that her? That's creepy, dude. So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. So he really is dead? And you sent me the package from Dignity, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. Oh. To stop speculating because I don't know. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life, the same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? I mean, to be fair, I can understand why she's angry because the thing is, had he just sent her a letter and said, hey, come here because you need to do these things to survive like it would be she'd be like okay cool i guarantee you she would but at the thought of how cassandra acted i guarantee you that it would not have ended well so i can understand why he probably didn't tell her outright there's a lot to it all right oh well that's still not normal Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship, a whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Oh. Or I reject it and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. Mm. It's my decision to make. Mm. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Oh crap. It's like love of her life? Or amphibian? I'm so sorry. Like, okay, let's let's think about this for just a second. You accept your fate and you leave Harry. Okay, now you know that he's not dead. But then you also have to think about the whole thing that he did to save her life. Like, will she actually never, ever be able to see him again? I mean, she's going to turn into an amphibian, isn't she? So, accept her fate. Leave Harry. Reject my fate, or her fate. And return home to Harry, where she will live with him and love him, and then die one of probably the most painful deaths. Okay, so logically thinking, it's been a year since he disappeared, right? So he most likely believes that she has probably already succumbed to her fate on the island and that she is already amphibian. And then all of this stuff that has happened with the crew and everything will have been for naught because she comes home and she dies a painful death anyway. But she'll be with the man she loves. <gasps> but then again, he has to watch her die and suffer. But then they could be together in the last moments. But then again, he has to watch her suffer. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do we the had leap, a Harry. really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am, and leave you behind. I'm going back home. I somehow feel like that was the really bad idea. Can I change my mind? Nip. <laughs> All right. I wanted to see if there was different dialogue and I could just listen to it. Wow. This bites. What a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was from here. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the i -Corps. Connected with the Elder God. Goodbye, Harry.
Okay. They look like the statues. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm upset. <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. I love you, Nora. And I love you, Harry. <laughs> As is sad. <laughs> oh. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. Oh, cool. Dean of Archaeology. Oh, that's so sad. I have so many mixed feelings about the decision I made. The only thing I have now. Oh, just rub it in my face, why don't you? Oh, I don't know. I'm very upset about how that turned out. Like, either way, I don't think it was a good decision to be one with your fish people or to die a painful death. But, like, either way, it's the, it sounds terrible. Like, I... <sighs> I'm so torn how I feel about this. <laughs> like, I'm so torn. But anyway, there you guys go. There is the rest of the Call of the Sea. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did enjoy the game overall, so I, I'll give it like a 10 out of 10 for myself because it was a really fun time. But the ending was definitely very twisty. Like, I, I, still, I still have no idea how I feel about it, really. I'm just kind of upset, but okay with it <laughs> but not really but anyway thank you guys so much for watching live long game strong my friends and i will see you in the next one bye bye